What? It's time now for My Two Favorite Librarians. Brought to you by Copper Tree Boutique in Dales Grand Market, located in beautiful, historic downtown Amherst. Hi, this is My Two Favorite Librarians. I'm Denise Corey. I'm Chantal Taylor, and today we're talking about March break. March break is coming. So next week is March break. There will be programs being offered at all seven locations, all seven public libraries in Cumberland County. And we've got a big list of stuff that's happening. So first of all, there's going to be a scavenger hunt happening at all of our locations, an I Spy scavenger hunt. So check your local library to check for time. Anytime the library is open, you can drop in and do the scavenger hunt. In Pugwash... Spring Hill and River Hibbert, they're going to be doing special drop-in programs during the week. So for instance, in Spring Hill, they're going to be doing a domino derby. So if you happen to be in the library, you can pull out some dominoes and set up a little course. Anytime that the library is open, you can do it. You don't need to drop in at a certain time. And in Pugwash and River Hibbert, they're going to be doing St. Patrick's Day craft. So anytime you're in the library, drop in and do a little craft. And all of our programs for March break are free, but there are a few that do require registration. Especially in Amherst. Because we have limited amount of space. Maybe you want to mention those ones. Well, almost everything. It might be easier to say... You don't have to sign up for the movie in Amherst on March 17th at 2 p.m. They're showing the Playmobil movie. You can just show up for that one. That's okay. But for the rest of our programs, you do need to sign up. Science Morning is a big one, which is Tuesday, March the 17th at 10 a.m. We always have a packed crowd. It's messy. Things tend to, like, blow up. Kids love it. Sign not, up early. Not real blow up. Well, like, it's, it's it's all like slime and elephants not toothpaste. Not fire blow and, up. Yeah. Sometimes it's putting um, Mentos into yep. Coke so or, that it fizzes um, over. Kids love that. The um, Pop Rockets. The Tums. Is it? T- no, it's Alka-Seltzer in vinegar in the film canisters. Those explode as well. Monday, March the 16th in Amherst, we're doing an art bot program. And this has very limited registration because we have to buy little mechanical motors. So if you're interested in that, and basically it's going to be like sort of a little monster. You put markers on the outside, you like put the motor inside of a pool noodle. And then when you start it up, it's almost like those old fashioned spirographs. The, the machines will go round and round and make weird little drawings. So they're very funny. They're very cute. So definitely sign up for that. So Monday in the morning, we're doing Perler Palooza. So that's the Perler beads where you can make a little design and then you, the kids don't get to iron, but there will be ironing to mm-hmm. put the beads together so they can make magnets, they can make keychains. We do these things safely, even though we mentioned, you know, ironing and explosions. These are all very safe things. Not, you know, it's not like we're blowing up a vat of acid. We're like, yeah, putting menthos and Coca-Cola. <laughs> But, yeah, it's super popular. Kids love to see things blow up. Yeah. So what else do we have going on? In Advocate, they're going to be doing painted canvases. So that's on Wednesday, March the 18th at 3 p.m. So they wanted to do a little painting. So we're going to provide them with a little canvas and some paint and brushes. They can make whatever they like. There's St. Patrick's Day crafts, whether a drop-in or a craft going on in Pugwash. That's all week. Spring Hill is a drop-in. It starts on Tuesday. Parsboro has a St. Patrick's Day craft Tuesday, March the 17th at 3 p.m. Oxford has a St. Patrick's Day craft on March 18th at 3 p.m. Family Fortnite is happening in Amherst and in Oxford, and that's basically come on in, bring your blankets. We're going to make forts. We're going to read in our forts. We're going to have like a, and I'm using my quotey marks that you can't see, campfire. There's no actual fire involved in it. We're going to make some s'mores, again, in quotey marks that you can't see. Because there is no actual fire. Exactly. <laughs> so Family Fortnite is happening in Amherst. On Wednesday, March the 18th from 6 until 8, and in Oxford on March the 19th from 6 until 8. They're going to be showing teen movies in Parsboro and Spring Hill. They're showing Terminator, Dark Fate, and in Amherst on Thursday the 19th, they're going to be showing It Chapter 2. So 
if you did not catch all of these things that we're talking about. And we didn't cover every single thing. No, because there are a ton of things happening during March break. If you want to see what is happening, you can go on to our website, which is www.cumberlandpubliclibraries.ca. And you will find a listing of our March break item. Uh, you will find a listing of our March break activities, or you can go into our calendar of events. If something needs registration, it will say, and so you can call and register. And You can pick up a flyer in Branch. We're posting things on social media. And also a reminder to all parents that children under nine must be accompanied by a parent even in a program. You don't have to stay in the program, but you need to be in the branch. So you cannot just drop a five-year-old off at the library. So what are you reading? I am reading The New Kid by Jerry Craft. It's a graphic novel, and it is the first graphic novel to win the Newbery Medal, which is... um, I believe it's an American Library Association award for, I believe it's illustrating, and normally it goes to a picture book, so this is the first time it's gone to a graphic novel, and it's a really great book about a seventh grader named Jordan Banks. He wants to go to art school, but his mom instead is sending him to this really fancy private school, and there aren't a lot of other people of color in the school, and so it goes through his first year and how he's making friends and how he's dealing with some of the things that are happening in the school. It is a really great book. I'm enjoying it immensely. I am reading Akin by Emma Donahue. So you may remember that name because she wrote Room. I was going to say. Room was her, I think, her most well-known book. She also wrote Slammerkin and Frog Music. This is, I think, probably her 16th novel. So she's got a lot of books out there. So Akin is about Noah He is days away from turning 80 years old, and he's planning this long-awaited trip to France. He was born in France and lived there until he was four and then was sent to the United States because of World War II. And there's a wrench in his plan. He's contacted by social services as the only relative who is able to take in his great-nephew, who was 11. So he brings his great-nephew with him to France. They don't know each other. They're just meeting each other, and they go to Nice, and he's trying to trace his family roots. I think she did this just really well. She talks about how he feels as an 80-year-old man and how everything is sore and blah, blah, blah. And I hope she did some research about it, but it's how I feel sometimes when I get up in the morning, so I assume that it's right. And then this poor kid who is 11 has been kind of moved around a lot. His mother is incarcerated. His father died of an overdose. And their family connection is a little bit tenuous. I just think it was really well done. I enjoyed it a lot. Interesting. And... Okay, so I know we talked about March break a lot. Yes. But there are things that are actually happening in the library. For adults. This week, even. So every Wednesday at the library in Amherst, every Wednesday morning is Once Upon a Time, a story time for ages 0 to 5, and we do that in conjunction with Maggie's Place. Also every Wednesday at the library in Amherst, we have the Twisted Stitchers. We meet from 6 until 8 o'clock, and any fiber arts are welcome. So you can knit or sew or crochet or tat or rug hook, whatever you want to do. We just, it's a drop-in. It's a very friendly group of people. Twisted Stitchers also happens every Tuesday night in Spring Hill. Also happening in Spring Hill this week is Classic Movie Night. They're showing the 1969 Western True Grit. That's with John Wayne. So that is on Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. True Grit. I've never seen the John Wayne one. I can't remember if I showed it for my movie night or not. I showed um, another John Wayne where he was the boxer and he moves to Ireland. I can't think of what it's called, though. It's the something man. It was very good. Also happening on Wednesday. Wednesday is super busy this week. 
is Teen Anime Club at the Oxford Library at 3 o'clock. So if you are a teen and you are interested in anime, you can drop into that. And if you have any questions, you can just give them a call at the Oxford Library. And you can find more details on this, as we mentioned before, on our website or on our social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Yeah. Yes, we are. Yes, so we don't are. forget to sign up for March break. There's Do not still, forget. I'm sure there's still a few spaces left. Yes. And sooner is better. Sooner is definitely better. What are we going to talk about next week? Next week, we're going to talk about books with maps. And I feel like this is a pop sugar challenge. It is prompt. a pop sugar challenge prompt. I like to put the pop sugar challenge prompts in so that I have to read books on the topic. And then it kills two books birds with one stone i couldn't remember the idiom and uh no fell right out of my head all right well maybe we'll remember next week (laughs) see you next week my two favorite librarians brought to you by copper tree boutique in dales grand market located in beautiful historic downtown amherst